almost every morning work in the same groups and they're pulling that antenna for forms. Um, Hello everybody. I was going to show how the noise reduction works on the 101 MP. I have. I mean, that's, uh, that's the weak point of that antenna as far as I'm concerned. And um, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I have thought of putting a homemade version of that together myself using my 40 meter kit, which is just the 40 meter traps, and uh, to get rid of it. 15 meter, 10, 15, and 20 meter traps, um, and use it only as a uh, as a 40 meter antenna. Those traps, if you use it that way, would not be traps. They would work as well as linear. Okay, coils. I got the and, uh, the DNR the on and, the DNA. Uh, uh, I'd have to find someone who does the antenna modeling to determine uh, how long with those uh, with those coils in there it would need to be. But uh, Ed and my friend Tom Thompson and Boulder can easily do that. They're very proficient with the, uh, what is it, easy net? So which one of the world's antenna modeling programs, they're both very proficient with that. They model very Right high. there's this uh, noise reduction. Right there's this noise reduction. Really, really great program to be proficient in. Uh, no, I think your, your D40 sounds like a super antenna. I'll have to look that up. And the only reason, uh, the only drawback to, to my putting that up is that I could not use, as I, if I used the, the D4 kit, the nice thing about that, it uses the same feed line that I use. I generally use beam. about five. It's, it's uh, rotating, driven out onto the beam, just becomes a rotatable dipole. Identical to Paul's D4 uh, when I when I put that kit off, but as I said repeatedly, uh, using it that way when I operate on 20 meters, which I do all the time with high power, those 40 meter traps won't take it. Uh, they're R4, the or R3, trees, and uh, not as a loading coil, and hence they've got very high voltages out on the ends of them, and they won't take it. They aren't. Uh, and uh, char and uh, and uh, destroy the traps, and I've had that happen on at least four different occasions where I've put the put the antenna up, works perfectly for about two or three months, then it starts becoming intermittent on receive. Uh, still seems to work fine on transmit, but it quits functioning on receive. So I have to take it down and refurbish the traps and try again with the same result. So uh, I've given up on it. However, I might put it back up as strictly a 40 meter antenna, but then I would have to have a separate feed line for it. I'd have to have a longer mast, a taller mast, and put it above the, uh, the tri, tri band beam. Uh, probably oriented uh, parallel to the boom of the beam to minimize the uh, interaction with the beam's driven element. And it would work great. Uh, but so does my. Uh, Resident dipole, which is almost as high, and it's on the tower. And uh, I don't, so I just don't have much incentive to put that rotatable dipole back up. I don't know, I, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm a uh, big fan of uh, dipole work the way you've done. I would not recommend anyone use the D4, even though Paul continues to amaze me by uh, not having. Okay, I just thought I'd show how good the noise reduction is on this radio. Let me, uh, I'll just say it. Uh, this one well, pretty much everything from Owensboro West to, you know, the Paducah area is it's all fire. Tornado Alley. I don't know. It, 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 you might be right about that. Now I thought that. I thought, you know, Southern Indiana, we had that big Henryville thing go here, and uh, I thought we were all part of uh, Tornado Alley since 73 years. Well, I'll tell you one yeah. thing, Indiana sure gets its fair share of bad storms. Oh, Roger, Roger. Okay, where it's really noisy at is uh, 60 meters.
Channel 2's got more noise than that one does. Watch this. The other day, uh, I was talking to Scott up in Ohio on 60 meters, and I had so much line noise, the QRM eliminator would not take it out. So I had to turn on uh, the noise reduction. I had to turn on the D and F button, uh, plus uh, narrow my filters up, and then I could hear him a little bit. But I had about... He's only hit me a S3 to S5, and I had a S7 line noise, so I could pull him out. And another thing, last week on the contest, this radio really shined on 40 meters a Saturday night. It was wild to wild. Uh, every case say they was a different uh, contester, and this is a real contest radio. I didn't try the 7610. I got a feeling it wasn't a shine as good because this has really got some good uh, good filters and everything. You know, you can uh, really know it. So it, it really shines on the contest. Uh, I was able to work uh, two, three, or four, about four different, uh, about four or five dozen stations on 40 meters. I worked from Ohio, Hawaii to uh, Europe on 40 meters, uh, Saturday night and uh, uh, Sunday morning early. So I also uh, worked Japan and... Uh, Worked Japan and Australia on 20, and I worked California, Southern California on 75 meters Sunday morning. But anyway, uh, I never thought I'd fool with a contest, but I really enjoyed it. I got a lot of contacts. Probably got a, over 100-something a contacts. Some of them were stateside, which I'm trying to get all my states in some of my counties, and I'm trying to work all the countries I can too, so uh, I'm good on Log Book of the World now, and I'm also good at QRZ. I got a subscription with QRZ. Uh, it's uh, $35 a, a year. Hang on just a second. Right here, you can see uh, I've won some awards. Right there, but anyway, I'm just trying to make contacts. Right here's my log book. You can see all that. I got 400 and something QSOs and 213 confirmed out of 476. I still got a long ways to go. But anyway, I love uh, I love working stateside. I love working the uh, DX. I, I love, and I also enjoy right chewing. But anyway, everybody have a good uh, have a good day. That's uh, me uh, showing my YouTube channel. So uh, I'm gonna wrap up the video right now. So uh, everybody have a blessed day. And thanks again for all the great comments and all the subscribers. And I do appreciate every bit of you. I appreciate all of you. 
and let's have a blessed day, 73s. The name of this video is going to be called Noise Reduction for the 101 MP. 73s, everybody. Have a blessed day. I'm out of here.